And welcome to What's Up Co-op Shop. This is Steve here, Kim. Hi, everybody. We're here with a special preview of Metalla. Yes. So this game just launched on Kickstarter. So I should have a description to the campaign in the, the YouTube channel here. Or the description of the YouTube. Um, and like I said, just launched today. So if you have any questions about the game and you join us live, let us know. We'll stop and explain as much as we can. So this is... As much as you can. I don't know anything. <laughs> which is perfect. That's fine. Okay. This is technically... We're playing through Chapter 2, okay. which is technically the second half of the tutorial. Okay. So, Chapter 1 and 2, the, tor the tutorial. Chapter 3 is the real game, I guess, called. So, as you go from there. But, this is very unique. It is a dungeon crawl, like, tower defense trap playing game. Okay. And it has a... Deterministic combat, so there's no randomness in the combat. It is, it'll catch on. It's pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's just jump down to the table and see what's about. Yeah. All right. So here I have the board set up. Um, one thing to note is it is a prototype. So, of course, the rules can change, and art and components, of course, are are going to change. Um, but we've got setups for two players. So Kim is going to be playing as uh, Harkon, Urg. the Dread Dread Girl. Yeah. So kind of a I chose more of a tacky person because it's my style. It's your, it is your style for mm -hmm. sure. And I'll be playing as Enik, the herbalist, which is the healing person. That's your style. It's my style. <laughs> so, but basically, where we are, what we're doing here is we are. Working together, and there's gonna be three rounds of three rounds of the game, and we need to progress through the story, and not not lose the game by a couple of factors. <clears throat> if we are both at zero health, we lose the game immediately, and there is a gate. So up here, there is a gate, um, right here, and it, it does come with a d20 die to keep track of its health. But to help everyone out watching us. I'm going to put a tracker on the screen right now for the gate health, so 20. So that reaches zero, we lose the game as well. So two ways to lose the game. Uh, but we'll run through all the phases together. And if it's a lot of using resources to uh, acquire, uh, to buy traps, buy equipment. Uh, we'll be leveling up as we go through it. Very, very, very uh, straightforward. So, okay. Let's talk about our characters and how they work because the last part of step I didn't do is leveling up. Okay. So let's look at those character sheets in more detail. So important thing to look here. We got a lot of things going on. And I'm gonna explain the full game. You guys haven't don't know anything about it. So right here is your health. So there are dice in the game, but the dice are used as counters. So you have a dice that's set to six health. You have two rows, a top row and a bottom row. On your turn, you will choose to do one option in the top row and one option in the bottom row. And when you do that, you'll be placing these markers, um, if you see down here, onto that space. So one on top and one on bottom. That's important because next time you do something, you cannot choose the same action twice in two consecutive turns. So then you have to choose one of the other two spots okay. for the next round. So that's how that works. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you have right now a spot over here for, with a one that is your level up. That's your level one ability. Um, you'll get a level two ability down here, and then we'll have the option to get a level three ability, and I'll explain that later when we get to it. So right now we're going to choose a level one ability for the top row. Now before we do that, uh, one of, a couple of things I want to mention. You have these ultimate abilities up here, these top two. So these you can do any time during your turn, and you can take one of your extra markers and mark it mark it off. Now, the kicker about those is at the, like I said, we're going through this three times. At the end of the first time, you will remove one of those. So you can use both if you wanted, but you'll only get one recharge back. So you might want to be, uh, might want to be kind of limited how you do that. Now, the abilities, how they work, pretty straightforward. You kind of read what they do. So like, for example, Kim, if you would do the advance, the advance here is the title of the ability, then bold. Below that tells you what it does. Move one. Very straight, straightforward, you move one space. Um, block. Here you can move one, and you gain armor. Just for that turn. Just for that round, yep. You'll block damage coming at you for that one. 
And then Quick Slash here, attack two with that little act symbol, you do two damage. Now, attacks are always in your space unless otherwise clarified. And I don't think you have any range attacks on yours. Doesn't look like it. No, I have a range on my card. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, other ones you might look at like Cleave. This is a two times attack one. That means you attack one damage twice. That could be against the same target or different targets. Mm -hmm. And you've got the overpower, hence your Gamma Slam three yes. attack. So don't forget you got all those awesome attacks on top. Um, Pierce, I'll mention. It will once you activate that, it will you'll have Pierce for the whole round. Uh, or actually, until the end of your turn, and all your damage will go through any armor on the enemies. Sure. All right, that's your character. Let's look at my character. So I've got the healer, a little bit different. Uh, same structure as Kim's. Uh, now, I have um, I'm a little more mobile, so I've got another movement option, a little bit faster. And here's a range option. So it says here, attack one, so attack in my spot. Heal one, so I can heal someone. And below that, see it's like smaller subtext, range one. That means the heal is at range one, not my attack. So and I've got another one, for example, down here, which is heal two at range two. Now, range is interesting in that it doesn't really have line of sight. You just count uh, spaces. So you can actually range around corners. Doesn't okay. matter. Uh, but yeah, it's all pretty straightforward there, I think. Um, I do have this Uber ability here, which is we'll have to keep in mind. Attack three anywhere. Hmm. So it doesn't matter where they are, I can attack three anywhere. And a really big heal potential. All right. That is our characters. So. You mentioned leveling up. What is... Let's do that right now. Exactly. So, when you, when we are playing the game here, before we start up, we're going to take uh, these level one abilities, and we're going to draw two plus the number of players. So four in this case, and we're going to draft these. So we're each going to pick one, and that's going to be our ability. Now, when you every time you sit down and play this game, you're going to start at base character, and you're going to level them all the way up. So there's well, there is a campaign, but you're going to be leveling up each character each time which is kind of nice because let's say we have some friends come over we're all sort of the same level they can just grab a character and jump in and play no big deal so all right so go ahead and let's draw four of those and let's look at what they are and this is the last part so let me put them up there so we can zoom in perfect all right so we can each pick one of these so we have here sprint which is move two it might be a little hard to see in the camera unfortunately um here i can zoom in on these um sacred fire heal one range one or attack one so now you can be a healer if you want you can build your character however you want this is fix it attack one range one so this is a range attack or repair one at range two repair one means we'll have traps on board and you can actually heal the traps if they take damage now, one note is you cannot heal the gate. There's almost no way to heal the gate. There, oh, sorry, I didn't say that. There are very few ways to heal the gate. The cards will tell you if they can. Okay. So, that's a common question that comes up. And then the last one we have here is go for the throat, pierce through damage, attack 1 plus X. X is the enemy's armor. So, at least one damage, but the more armor they have, the more, the more you'll do. So, which of these are most interesting to you? Um, I will say you're not super mobile, so the movement isn't bad for you, but it, it, you can build it however you want. Do you want to get more attack? You can do the attack at range, and then you don't have to move as much. Um, maybe you want to just I was do some healing? To do fix it, because... Okay. Um, what do you want? Mm, I was leaning towards fix as well. I think one of us should take that one. That's a pretty mm -hmm. cool one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So okay, we can... you take it because that way you mentioned it and you need you probably can use it in range. Yes, but then I also going for the throat just sounds like me. <laughs> it does sound like you. Um, yes, I don't know if we need more healing because I've got a decent amount of healing I think on my you're side. Fine on healing. Maybe you go for the throat. You I need... can go for the throat. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, right. so you'll take that one. I'll take go for the throat and then. Like I said before, they will be placed in our level one slots right here. So, pretty straightforward. Sure okay. And then those are now gone. We don't need to work with the level, level ones anymore. There's a big stack of these abilities. Okay. 
the board is all set up. I have the starting map. I have everything ready to go. Let's start playing the game. So the game starts with a number of phases. The first phase in the game is going to be exploration. So this is where we're going to expand out the map, the dungeon. Um, so we're going to choose a path to explore. We're going to look in the campaign book, do what it says. And if there's a timer token, we'll just keep track of that. We just no timer on this one right now, so don't have to worry about that. And we'll just keep exploring the dungeon as much as we want until at some point the campaign book will say, hey, go move on to phase two. Okay. So we'll just start that right now. Now, how this works, if you look at the board, um, there are these tiles around here. So um, you see here, this is tile 2A and B is on the other side. So you see here, we've got from Z connects to 8A, it bends around to H. So you can see how there is, you always have to connect the number tile with the letter you're exploring from. So right now this is already explored because during setup, I had to connect this already. So we look down the path here just, and we get down to the bottom 15A. 15A, to look up here, zoom into it, has no other spots. This is a dead end. So I'm showing this as an example that this here is a dead end path. We can't explore any anymore on this side. I didn't understand what you were saying. So you're saying that you just have to have numbers or letters that will connect here. Yes. Okay. It'll make more sense on the other side. Let's look at the other side here. So right here, this is part of setup. We just connected that one and wrapped around. And right now, see how we have the letter A with nothing below it. So this means this is a legal spot to explore. Okay. So oh, and I guess there's a story too. Should we read the story real quick? Go ahead. That might put some context on what we're doing because we are trying to find a cart, which is useful. The smell of roasted deer drew many villagers to the fire. The sun set some hours ago, but that has rarely stopped a Viking from enjoying his mead. Everyone is listening intently as you and your Enik tell a tale of your recent adventure. As your story comes to a close, Arne, one of your camp scouts, addresses you. Hark on, give me directions, and I will see if I can find out more about this mysterious cave of yours. You give him some waypoints, and with a silent nod, he heads out into the darkness. If he's able to uncover something, there may be more adventures ahead of you, and there's still much space left in the songs of Skalds. If you're about to raise your horn for another toast with your friends and comrades, an unfamiliar figure stumbles into your circle. She's a middle-aged woman, clothed in expensive looking foreign garments but by the looks traveling has taken its toll on the once expensive fabric her right arm hangs limply down on a large dried blood stain across her shoulders gives you an indication of the cause she steps forward cautiously looking around then focuses her eyes on you i am dara of greenhaven merchant by trade on my way here i was ambushed by a horde of co cobbles i barely escaped with my life but they stole my cart along with all my wares Warriors, I need your help, and I will pay well, of course. You think for a moment, then take a step forward and raise your voice. You need not worry. I will help you, and I am sure I will find brave companions to join us on our adventure. You hear confirming shouts from the others around you. But first, you should let Enik here tend to your wounds, and I will need a night's rest, for I already took down my share of kobolds today. Her look changes to one of surprise, then gratefulness, as she gives a firm nod. As Enig leads Dara to her hut, you look around, thinking about who would best join you in your next endeavor. You head out early after the sunrise, accompanied by Dara, who is leading the way towards the location of the ambush. Alongside you marches Tora, a sister-in-arms, but also the clan's youngest member to ever become her seer, leader of the warriors. After making a name for herself on the last raid, you learned much from her when she was still training a warrior apprentices, and you are glad to have her on your side. If there's some time, you reach the place. Dar's cart has been clearly been dragged off. As you follow the trail, it leads you to a door that looks very similar to the one to, to the dungeon that you encountered yesterday. This one is also adorned with the runes. Tora stops only for a second, then sneers and draws her axe. These were cleverly protective runes, but it looks like this... Oh my gosh. It's the little spawn. We're able to push through. Let's remedy that with our blades. Follow me! She opens the door, and before you can even draw your weapon, she drags you with her into the unknown. Okay. So basically our goal is to help this uh, traveler find her cart. Okay. 
you did not pick that warrior woman. Does that matter? No, you pick anyone you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right, so, long story short. Okay, so let's quick go on with exploration. So, of course, the only option we have is exploration A. So, in the book, there are paths, and I'll have you read a path here. So, um, what does it say under path A? Place map tile 10A and read verse 101. Yep. So, over there, you should find, there in order, you should find map 10A. Perfect. And how that lines up, yep, it's always going to line up next to where you explored from. So now our next exploration is right here. Do we need to have our, our little dudes on the map? Uh, it doesn't matter right now. Okay. Because thematically, you can actually put them on the map and we're walking around, but because we have essentially infinite time, it doesn't really matter where we are. So okay. We will set up ourselves on the board later when combat starts. It says to read verse 101. Would you like to read that? The whole underground structure is well fortified, but parts of the tunnel have crumbled, and it is slow to climb over the debris. You wonder how anyone would have moved a cart beyond this way. As you slide down some rocks, you find some remains of an ancient trap. While the components are unusable, you are able to reconstruct the workings of this trap. Unlock the rune trap on your party sheet. Okay, so now we have a new trap available to us, and we'll explain that later, but that's it. Now we can keep exploring. So, of course, we only have one option. That is going to be I. Yep. So if you will. Uh, put place tab 3A and read 104. Yep. So, there you go. You put it that way. Yep. And here's 104. As you follow the tunnel, Dara spots something among the debris. You quickly moves to retrieve it. This should help us. She examines with a broad... Oh, exclaims with a broad smile. Just as you're about to take a closer look, you see some smaller creatures... Approaching you from the far end of the cave. You pull Dara back and prepare yourself for a fight. Give one random cost three give one random cost three rare item. Draw from the rare items deck until you draw one item worth three silver. Give this to a hero of your choice, then reshuffle the deck deck and the drawn card. Play story token one in the quest board. And the exploration phase ends. So we're gonna read verse one oh eight. So I will do that, but let's go ahead and read verse one oh eight. Oh, wait, hold on. Why don't we get this stuff? This is just explaining the, the rules, so we'll do that now. So, okay. So, there are items in the game here. And so right now, we're going to get a random three-cost item. Oops. Where is the three-cost? There's the first one. There we go. So this is what an item looks like. So dual axes. Dibs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> so normally, if you look down here in the corner, it costs three silver to buy, but we're gonna get this for free because we're helping her out. And then what? How this works is you can you can divvy these up to different people, and during on your turn, you can exhaust it for your the effect. At the end of the round, it will ready itself again. Okay. So apparently, you like dual actions. So here you go. <laughs> we also have this one from the previous chapter, so we can divvy this up as well. You can have it. Okay. This one is retaliate one. This, sometimes when I would take damage, I can exhaust this to automatically do one damage back to them. Okay. So I'll take that one. All right. So that is the end of exploration. We read until it tell, told us to stop. Now, um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. This is just telling us the rest of it. Yeah. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything here. Play story event one in the quest board. Cool. <laughs> yes. It is a reflex for her liquider, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so. Truth. Story token one. Okay. I'll find that in a second. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the phase. So, next part is the preparation phase. So, this is where we get to spend resources, exchange items, all that fun stuff. And then when we're done buying stuff, we will spawn enemies. And then we'll place our heroes on the board. So, some key things to keep in mind. So, in this game, there's important to know there are fortified tiles. So, this circle here, this blue circle, means it's fortified. What that means is enemies will not spawn on there. It also means we can start our turn on that spe space. Uh, it also means we can build traps on it, max two. So, right now, our only spots we can build traps are here or here. So we can go ahead and um, buy stuff. So right now our options are 
We can fortify a map tile, which is number of players plus one, so it's gonna be in in runes. Yes, so it's gonna be three for us. Three what? What is our three three thing? runes rune stones? So right now we currently have five up there. Okay, that's where that stone. Yeah, so let me just point this out for people on the okay. map. So this is our rune stone, which is this symbol here, and then we also have silver. We have six of that, which is that symbol here. And so we can spend these resources however we want to buy the stuff, and this is what the list would tells us. But the fortified map tile is three. So if we wanted, we can actually fortify additional ones to have more space that they won't spawn on, and we can build more stuff on, so whatever you want. The other thing we could do is we could build traps. Let's talk about those. So here is a trap card, the spike trap. So the traps have a lot of different information on them. This die up here is its health. And you can see that right here as well, HP three, hot pocket three. Uh, stock three means you can have max three in the game, out at a time. Okay. And then to build it, the cost is down here, it costs two silver. And the abilities are here. It does pierce, pierce through armor and does one damage. Now it says a different level down here. You can level these up, which means if you have a level one, you can upgrade to level two by spending this cost, which is a rune stone plus two other resources. So that could be silver or it could be um, another rune stone. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention. We need to draw, as far as setup, um, five components as well. Trap components. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, five trap components. So, uh, Kim, if you would like to help me out with that, because I did forget that, over, the, over ooh, there, the deck of cards, and just flip over five of those, and we'll see what they are. Uh, shuffle, maybe? Um, let's shuffle that. So that's not good. Just for explanation purposes, that's <laughs> oh, pretty Peter, bad. Those are all the same. <laughs> yeah. Let's shuffle that again. Um, so that's going to be important, because those will be needed to make stronger traps. So, for example, let's look at, while she's shuffling that, we can look at the next trap we have, which is a blade trap. So you can see this one, speaking of gears, costs four, to, four silver to build, a rune stone plus a gear to upgrade it to level two. And then rune stone plus two gears to upgrade, upgrade to level three. So that's where these trap components we're flipping over matter. So right now we have, looks like, a crystal and three gears. Or two crystals and three gears. So... We can use those to help upgrade our traps. Um, so yeah, the blade trap, this one will do um, multiple attacks, but only one damage each time. So two times one attack, up to four times one attack. As it's spinning around. Okay. And the last one we unlocked was the rune trap. This one has six health, only two of them. This one pierce through armor and just do two damage, three or four damage, depending on how high, how high it is. Now... The upgrade cost down there has rope. We do not have the rope component, so we won't be able to get level three of this this turn. We need to wait until we get more components. Okay. So. Okay, so that's another thing we can buy. Um, we can heal people. We can rebuild stuff and sell things. It doesn't really matter right now. So right now we're only focusing on fortifying map tiles. We can't buy any items because we don't have the cart yet. And then we can build traps. So fortify and build traps is an upgrade. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Like, so we've got designer here. So hi. <laughs> Check in as head to bed. No worries. I know it's late for you. Appreciate you stopping by. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, we don't make mistakes for you when you wake up in the morning. So <laughs> okay. So what would you like to buy for this one? Um, what are you feeling? Let's throw some traps down, and then I can just run around. Okay. Do you want to build, um, fortify some tiles first? Oh wow, three thirty there. Good grief. <laughs> Well, I know you're happy because you're you're Kickstarter funded today, so I'm congrats, uh, congrats for that. So, all right. So fortifying is this. What's I can't see what that says. Yeah, so it's number of players plus one. So we need three. We need three rune stones, and we currently have five. five. So we could like fortify over here, for example, and this would, um, this would be a spot we can we can build on, and no enemies will spawn there. Um, but we can build traps. And the trap is the cost in silver of the trap itself. Yes, that's I right. I don't have to spend stones for that. N not unless you want to do an upgraded one. Okay. I feel like you want to fortify. 
No, I'm just saying. It's okay. Th- um, we could maybe do both. How do we restock that stuff? Restock what? Like get more stones and more silver. We'll get them um at the end of the round or automatically, and when we explore, we may we find more stuff too. Okay. So. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah. Let's do both then. Okay. What uh? What do you want to build? I. We have six silver, so we could build one rune trap, or we can build one spike and one blade. You just want to spend everything all right away. I, generally, that's what we do, I guess. Okay, when I play sure. Game pass, so there's no reason not to keep not to do it. Okay. Um. Sure. Well, let's do the big boy then. You want to do one big boy? Okay. No. That's fine. <laughs> Fine, let's do one of each of those. Sure, what do you want? Fine, we're going to do one of each of these. We'll see okay. more. Okay, so what do, you want, do you want to fortify something first? Or do you want to try upgrading one of them? We could upgrade... Wow, we can actually upgrade the blade all the way. We have pretty quite a bit of, quite a few of them, actually. Not if we fortify at the same time. Well, yes, we could, because we have five. We could upgrade the blade all the way or the spike trap all the way. One of the oh. two. Um. Here, here's my suggestion. Maybe we okay. fortify here so there's not... Well, no, let's fortify over here because it's a longer path. We'll have more enemies on that side. Okay. So we'll fortify that top for three. So let's go ahead and spend our three rune stones for that. So we're down to... Two. Two, yep. <clears throat> so we want a spiky bit over here, maybe? Sure. It, or no, that's the blade. And then the spiky one here? Sure. Okay. So that's going to cost uh, all six of our silver. So we have no more silver. Yeah. We do have some rune stones we can spend. And to upgrade that, um, here, I'll pull up on the screen so people can see. Because we upgrade our blade trap. It's going to cost two rune stones and three gears to do it. We have three gears. We can up, and we have the two rune stones right now. So we can upgrade it to level three. Sure. Okay. So we spent all the resources. We'll do that. So when you do that, you'll take one of these markers, so level three on it, and we'll tuck it underneath. By the way, um, designer, I he did, I believe you painted these. These miniatures, fantastic job. Yeah, these are these amazing, are cool. really, really nice. All right, so here's our blade trap of death over there. So how did you mark that it's upgraded? There's a token under it. Yeah, so there's a ring. It's just got number three there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna zoom in here so people can see better. Number three, and it's got a little uh, red ring around it, so you can see when you put this on top, you can see the, the color around it. Okay. So. Okay, so we're done with the preparation. Now what we'll do is we'll move on to the next part, which is shuffle the enemy deck and spawn enemies. So we'll do that right now. So the enemy deck is right here. And so to when you spawn enemies, there is a a spawn order. So where are we? Oh, Lisa, she's doing that professionally sponsored for a few prototypes. That is amazing. Cool. Tell Lisa she did an awesome job because that, that quality is fantastic. All right, so first thing we do is we look at the gate. Oh, by the way, we can't put uh, traps on the gate. Okay. So, okay. Should we be on the board? Not yet. After we see the enemies, then we'll choose where we go. Okay. So we'll we start with the gate, and we go clockwise first. So we'll go clockwise. This is the first one to spawn. So we draw one of these tiles, or one of these guys. We have a... Kobold Spearman. So there should be a Spearman, looks like it's right here. And we'll put him right on that tile. And I'm going to lay these down so you guys can see them. So let's talk about what this is. <laughs> so all the enemies in this game are unique, which is very, very cool. So the important thing is we're playing two players. We've got a little two up here. So we're going to put this on, we're going to put a red disc on the five. It's going to have five health for us. We're playing two player game. Um, important thing over here is the target. So enemies all have a target they want to hit. And so generally it'll be uh, the heat play players, maybe traps, and or maybe the gate. If the enemy can't hit the players or traps, they always, always, always will hit the gate. So, and they will always be marching towards the gate as the game goes on. Um, so basically how they work is if the enemy can attack, they will. They can attack, they will move. And they always move closer to the gate. Very, very simple activation. So now this guy, he's got a target question mark. So what we have to look down here. It says if he had a valid target, he's going to attack one. Oh, he attacks anything he can. That's what it is. Attacks anything he can. 
for two damage. If he had a valid target, he attacks one against a different target on adjacent map tile. So if there's a valid tar target where he is, he does two damage. Mm -hmm. And then he looks for an, a different target next to him who does another one damage. Okay, so he does a close stab, and then if he success, if he does do that, he'll range attack. But since he there's nobody there, he's not going to do anything. That's right. So right now, if you look at the board, current state, there's nothing there, so he's just going to move. When he's here, he'll attack the, attack the trap and then attack adjacent spot. So, so, but he doesn't move now. He's going to move. That's correct. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Yep. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Nice. Welcome. So that's our first one. So let's respond to the rest of them. So next one that's down here. We have the Draugr Horde. Oh, I forgot one, one more thing. This guy has Evasion. Evasion is this token right here. Sorry. This token is the Evasion token. When the, Whenever you attack the Spearman for the first time, he will ignore the damage. And then Evasion token gets spent. And then subsequent attacks will deal, go be successful on him. Does that reset? It resets at the end of every round. Yep, okay. time round. So, um, fortunately, we have a spinning blade of death, which is the perfect solution for that guy. Okay. So that's actually very fortunate. Draugr horde. So he's gonna target anything he can for two damage. Now this one is special. Out of battery now. No worries. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. So he's a, a he's a group of enemies actually, and. Any attacks are reduced to one damage. On him. On him. This is attack five, so only one damage. But each attack is one damage. For example, our blades does one damage, one damage, one damage, which is also perfect to take him out. So we got really lucky in how these guys are spawning. This guy's going to have, oh, we're down here, eight health. So I'll put eight health on him. Now the next one we have is a Kobold Bomber. So he's targeting the gate. For one damage. He only cares about the gate. Okay. When he dies, attack three against everything on its map tile, including other enemies. So he blows up. <laughs> so he's going to have five health, and he's running around. Okay. Are you sure that's eight? Yeah, there's a two in there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Other side of the board, because now we're finished with this lane, we do this one. So over here. Because that first one's fortified. We have a thief. Ooh, so this guy's immune to traps. Traps will not damage him. Enemy turn start. If the thief is on the gate map tile, exhaust one item. So if he reaches the middle of the board, the gate, he's going to um, force us to lose our items. They're not gone from the game, but they're just exhausted. So keep that in mind. Um, he also moves three. Hmm. So he's a fast little bugger. Um, he's going to get there immediately <laughs> so we are going to have to worry about him and he looks like he has five yes five health there you go and we have two more enemies we have a warrior this is targeting only us um with evasion as well another evasive en enemy and it looks like he's gonna have five health <laughs> being an intimate object is so tiring <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matt. <laughs> uh, and the last one is going to be an archer. So this one, as you can expect, has range two. So it can shoot around corners and attacking us. So it looks like it has five health. Okay. So now we spawned everything. We will continue on with the phase two, which is putting ourselves on the map. This word actually matters. Speaking of the awesome um, paint job, I mean, this is, well, that's not a bad example with green screen. Look at Kim's character, but these are really well done. But they won't be painted when you get the they're game. Not. I'm just putting them <laughs> off. Just making sure people know that. Yeah, yeah, they're not painted in the game, so. Okay, so we choose where we want to start, and this is where we can kind of plan it out and talk about a strategy a little bit. So the good news is, these guys are, this trap is perfect against those guys. Um, the bomb. They'll eventually kill that thing, though. Yes, we need to help them a little bit, but not a whole lot. The Unfortunately, the thief is going to be at the gate um, on, at the end of the enemy turn when he activates. Uh, so let's talk about the next phase briefly to talk about our planning. So we're going to go to combat after this. First thing happens is the enemy is going to start. So they're going to, all, all of them are going to move. 
the traps are going to activate and then we take our turns. So we know right now that the, um, what's his name? The thief. The thief, yeah. He will be at the gate for sure. Well. So we can keep that in consideration. But, I, so we're going to put our guys down, but we're not taking our turn? Correct. Okay. Correct. Not yet. So it might make sense for one of us to be at the gate or maybe both of us. Um, I'm tempted to be over here so I can... Start shooting things? To help the blade a little bit. Um, that seems like a pretty decent option, so. Okay. Push the stuff on the board. Let's move on to phase three. So enemy turns. So just like the spawn order, we'll start up here and we'll activate them. So this guy here, the spearman, he wants to attack something. He cannot. There's no valid target, so he's just going to move. Boop. Right here. Likewise, the Draugr Horde is also going to move. And then the Bomber is going to move as well. So very simple. Now we move over here. That guy has movement three. Yep. And then one, and then one. Because they don't have any valid, valid targets. Okay, very simple. Now we move on to the next part of the combat, which is trap turns. Now the traps are going to activate. Unfortunately, our spike trap has nothing to do over there, but this one does. So as a reminder, what it does... It's level 3, so it's going to do 4 attack 1s. So the first attack 1 is going to exhaust the evasion of the Spearman. So the Spearman, because he's was not smart, and walked right into that trap. So he's going to exhaust that one. And then the other 3 attacks are going to be 1, 2, 3. He's already 2 health. Okay. So that was a perfect, perfect spot for that trap. Okay. And then that's it. Now we move on to hero turns. So we can take our turns in any order we want as we talk about what, what we're going to do. Now remember, on your turn, you do a top row and then a bottom row. So my thought is I definitely want to take out the Spearman on my spot. I actually don't really have a great option for that. I'm going to kill the Thief. Ow. Quick slash and then overpower. It's oh. five. <laughs> five? Wait, yeah. you just one shot that guy? Yes, because that's how I do things. <laughs> you know what that counts, counts for? <laughs> yeah, but I'm Kim. <laughs> okay. So, but I did that right because I'm going to do all my stuff at once and then you go. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yep, so, so you yeah. do your first one, which is two. So quick slash is two. Yep, and he has nothing that stops one, that, two. right? Yep. And then overpower is attack three. Yep, that's right. One, two, three. Dead. He's dead. Die. Okay. <laughs> okay, that problem's uh, take care of. Where does, does this... Um, I assume they just keep reshuffling. Yeah, they keep reshuffling, yep. Okay. Oh, by the way, combat, how that's going to work is... We're going to keep, keep going through the combat phases until all the enemies are dead, or we are all dead, or the gate is at zero health. Um, I, it's a game of land, mid hop a lot. <laughs> nice, man. Like nice. Mid -hop -a -lot. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing useful, that's for sure. Well, you got to kill that. You still only got two shots left. You can do that. Oh, I do have something useful. Okay. I have the ability, and I'll pull, put this on screen briefly for, for you guys. Uh, throw, throw a flask. Attack one. So I can do one damage to the Spearman, so he's at one life. But more importantly, heal one at range one. You're at full health. I can't heal you. But the Draugr Horde, if you look at what they have, let me tuck this away, they have the Undead ability. The Undead ability, um, heals can be used as attacks, ignoring their armor. So I can heal them and deal one damage. So you're, you're weakening the Horde by making them less popular. That's right. Like, you're fine. Go, go away. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So that, that was useful. That wasn't wasn't too wasteful. And then I'll do engage, which is attack two, and then I'll take out the uh, the spearman. So, he is dead. You seem like you're hesitant to my, my abilities here. No, that's fine. Okay. So he's gone. Okay, so we did our turns. Um, we will continue on because there's two enemies on board. So now the enemies will activate. Do they spawn more? No. No, no, okay. no spawn more. This is we just have to get through this wave of enemies. 
So now the Draga Horde is going, has nothing to attack. It's going to move in this spot. It's just falling to our trap. And the bomber is also going to move. Okay. And then that guy is the warrior. warrior. Yep. He was here. Then over here, he has a range. Range two. Two. But he doesn't. He is only. Two. He's only for people though, not traps. Oh, okay. So he will move. Yep. That's the archer. Okay. So now it is trap turn. We do have a trap up there. So that trap, as he's only level one, is going to pierce through any armor. Doesn't have armor, and he's going to do one attack. Yes, but he has evade. So he he exhausts the evade token for him. Okay. So now you can do actual damage to the warrior. And then this over here is the horde. As a reminder, they um, can only take one damage on each attack. But because we got really lucky, this does four attacks. So it is going to do four damage to it. So one, two, three, four. Down to three life. I don't think I can take it out, though. We'll see. I might need some help with that. And that is it. Now we can take our turns. Hmm. Yeah, so now you gotta be, you, know, you really have to think about what you're doing because while you had an amazing turn last turn. Um... Oh, it's still gonna be amazing. Okay, Don't okay, doubt okay. Me. Just saying, you, you can't do the same abilities again. Uh, well, see, because I don't have as much movement to get here. Yep. I'm thinking maybe I go this way and we just like cross each other in the path and just high five on Actually, the Actually, dual axes would be really good. Yeah. The whole yeah, way. and you know, murder them all in one shot again. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do move and an armor. There's no armor people on the board right now, so no, not piercing. <laughs> yes, Matt, that's that's a fair option. So can you stall the horde? So if they can attack, they will and they won't move. Mm -hmm. But you have to be a legal target for them. Some enemies, for example, the we saw him earlier. Oh, oh, the bomber. He's only interested in the gates. You can't stall him because he's never going to attack you. He's only going for the gate. But the ones with question marks, they attack anything in their spot. So I could stay here, have the Draga Horde attack me, take some damage, but then I can maybe heal myself, and then our trap will be full health and can take him out next turn. So you don't have to move there. You can actually move someplace else and do some more damage. Like that warrior, his evade's down. But That's can, true, but I can't get there. You're very slow. Yes. Yes. Not to mention there's a archer nearby. As yeah, well. I can't get there. So I can... Is that warrior... Yeah, those they're not going to attack the trap. So let's, the trap is going to do some more damage to them. Do I have to go in order top down? You have to do the... Top row before the bottom row, but you can do your ultimate abilities anytime. Anytime. Yes. Now, I can tag three anywhere. Oh, how about you to go first? Then I'll figure out what I'm going to clean up. Well, it depends on wh what you can do. You do have your fix it. You can do a range attack, but you don't have a way to get there, do you? Mm-mm. Like, I can just ping him one last time if... Yeah, what do you want? Uh, let me pull up my cards so people can see what's going on here. It's a little bit easier to see on this. Um, so I have... I did throw a flask and engage last turn. I do have another engage, so I can do two damage. Um, I can... I could... No, I can't... I can't get to the other side of the board to help that spot. The only thing I can do is my ultimate, my uh, Ferndale's Roots, to do three damage anywhere. Which is tempting while the Kobold's Warrior is, evades down. Mm -hmm. So I'm tempted to do that ultimate now. Okay. But does that help you? Yeah. It does? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I'll go ahead and activate that ability. I'll take my turn. So let's do my ultimate. And be three damage here. One, two, three. Down to two life. What else are you going to do? I am going to... Not sure. Because I can kill the horde. 
You can kill the horde. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then maybe I will move one here. And then do an engage two on that bomber taking down two health. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do my move and... Oops. Hold on. I didn't... Sorry. I might have zoomed in. You guys see me. I moved here. Did two damage to that guy. Okay. Um, I'm going to move. He's attacking one. He's going to attack you and then move? The bomber? Nope. The bomber's only going for the gate. He's going to run by me. What about that? Yeah. So we can look at what... Let's look at what this does. So it... The priority is they will always attack the target. Oh, which is if the they, gate. Okay. If they don't have a target, they will always attack the gate. So basically, they, everyone always attacks the gates once they're at the gate spot. That's basically what but he target. only does the he gate. He only attacks the gate. Okay, so you can only be in a spot and he's fine. That's right. All right, I'm going to do regular advance move and... Um, now, the problem with him is when he blows up, he'll do damage to the gate. Not if I stand there and hit him. Do you take him out this turn? I don't think so. No, next turn. He'll be yeah, at the trap area. And the trap will take damage. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, this engage isn't going to do anything, but I have to do my spot weakness attack to take out the horde. And this will refresh <clears throat> next round? At the end of combat. At the end of combat. Okay. Yeah. Even the special one? Yes. Okay. So. Well, yeah, the, yeah, that will. Advanced, which is moving one. Okay. Then uh, I have an attack two and a spot weakness for piercing three attack. So he is super dead. Mm. The horde only takes one damage each, each Oh, attack. son of a biscuit. I can fix that. Cleave. Okay, two, that is two damage. One, two, and then you did another attack for one more? Yes. Yeah. If the horde is gone, the trap kills the bomber. You are correct. Yes, you are. And you're going to take damage, Kim. Um, and the trap's going to take damage. Um, um, can I retcon and instead of doing my advanced do block? It's still the move, but now I get yes, armor. Yes, yes, you can okay. do that. You can do that. <laughs> do that, thank you. Yeah. couple corrections. So block gives you this this token here. <laughs> thank you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch, Matt. Good catch. For looking forward. <laughs> um. So what that means is... Reduce all inco incoming attacks by X before applying damage. So you just reduce it, reduce it by one each time. Yep. Which you're going to definitely need. It's fine. Okay, so that guy's dead. And I think that's all our turns. Mm -hmm. So enemies activate. So no target here, he moves here. And this goes back? Yep, that goes back, yep. Traps activate. Which is going to be one, two, three. It's going to blow up the kobold. <laughs> so, so why wouldn't he have shot the trap? It's just, or is it symbol of like he's only going after people? Yep. So because of this symbol here, target that symbol next to it is only heroes. Okay. Only heroes. But with the exception that when he gets to the door, he'll hit the door. When he's at the gate, he will attack the gate. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's the exception. So now on death. Um, it's going to three attack against everything on its map pile, including other enemies. So, unfortunately, our trap takes three damage, and you take two damage because of your um, armor. Our trap is down to two life. Which isn't great, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, and then I don't think anything else... Ha oh, that trap over there activates. The spike trap. Mm-hmm. So the archer standing on it is going to take one damage. Okay. Okay, our turns. So now we're kind of far away <laughs> from those spots. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do... This and that, and this comes off, right? Nope, stays on. That stays on. Stays on to the end of combat. End of combat is all enemies are dead, or we are all dead, or the gates. Oh, are okay. So end yep. of the whole thing. Yes, that's right. You can fix the trap. You can with the repair ability. 
which I have, which is what I'm doing. Oh, you are repairing it. Sweet. It's attack one, range one, and repair one at range two. So I can repair the trap for one. Then you're not moving. Yeah, I can't. I mean, otherwise I would just advance to here, and I'm just standing there. That might be better. Would you fix the trap? I can't fix the trap. Okay, fine. I will prepare. Um, It's tough because if you stand there, you're getting shot by the archer. Yes, I am. But wouldn't I not get shot by him anyway by staying where I'm at? You're out of range right now. So yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to fix the trap. Okay. Heal it one? Yep. Okay. And your second line is doing... I just moved it to engage. I can't do anything. Attack the air. Okay. Crack, practice swing. Just practice stay swing. Stay fit. <laughs> um, I have a move two. I think that's what I need to do. We need to get over here. I'll take it. I'll get shot, but that's fine. And then I have a a blessing heal two range two. I will do that to you, Kim. Yes. We're back up to full health. Excellent. Because next turn I'll come in swinging. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we move on to the enemy turn. Okay, so... So, this... first one is the warrior. So, he will move, yep. And then that one will not move. Oh, he's going to shoot you. He's going to shoot me, right. So, he's going to shoot me for two damage. I am now down to three. But, traps activate. So, that archer is going to take a damage. Bing! So, as long as someone's there, it's going to keep sniping us, but it's going to keep taking damage itself. Okay. <clears throat> so, our, right. our turn. Our turns, yep. Okay. So that warrior does have evasion. That's fine. <laughs> You're like, I don't care. You have your dual axes. And that refreshes? At the end of combat. Can you move and get your armor going? Because that'd be ideal. <laughs> yeah. So move one, armor one. And I have cleave, which is attack two single attacks, so I can get rid of that and hit him for one. What would you do? No, it's the warrior, right? The archers here. Oh, that's the warrior. You're yeah, right. Yeah. So that would be the evasion off and one damage. So then I have to do one damage, which I could do. Yeah. Or can you hit the archer? Or no. I can have the archer shoot at me because I'm going to block it. Sure. Okay. I'm going to cleave. We're going to do that. So yeah. I'm, mo I'm moving here. Okay. Uh, first attack takes this off. Second attack hits him to one. Okay. I am going to do, um, throw a flask. So attack one. Sure, that should take out the guy. And then heal one. So I'm going to heal myself this time. And then I'm going to swing at the air with my, with my engage. <laughs> so. All right. That is it. Armor Kim. Oh, yes. We yes. will armor you. I have it. Good armor. Thank you. Appreciate it, Matt. Thanks for the help. All right, next round. So enemy's not going to move. It's going to shoot at one of us. So, oh, so I'll take it. Ping. Yep. Armor. Yep. And then you... Yep, well, it's going to be gone. It's our return. You do take one damage, though, because it's a two attack. Oh. So you're down to five. And then chaps happen, so it's going to take another damage. It's down to two. Our turns. I can take him out. Can you heal the trap? I can heal it once. That's perfect. Better than I can do. Okay. And then, are you done with your turn? Yep. Cool. I have a sprint, which is move two. And I have engage, which is a two attack. It's got two life. Now take it out. Well done, Steve. There we go. Combat complete. <clears throat> okay. So, that phase is done. We move on to the next phase, which is going to be uh, the rewards. So, check the quest board. <laughs> which, um, don't think we have any quests right now, so it's fine. And then we move on to, we reset one of our ultimates. So, this ultimate's coming back, and so is yours. Um, reset use items. So, items now, if they were exhausted, they become readied. Remove skill tokens to status tokens if you had bad effects, they're gone. Um, <laughs> dice to roll, Steve is effective. Hey, Matt, I see you there. <laughs> He's not lying, Steve. What? Just what? Saying. <laughs> I did something. Um, now we get to level up, which is the fun part. 
So let's do the level up. So we're now at level two. So draw these, and just like before, we're gonna draw four and pick uh, each pick one. Strong attack, <laughs> bull rush, focus heal, and encourage. So let's look at these for people to see. So up here, it's got the down arrow. That means it has to be on the bottom row, which makes sense because our level two is on the bottom row. One ally anywhere can move one. Or one ally anywhere can attack two. So this is a good cooperative element. Mm -hmm. I do like that one quite a bit. Especially for you. Focus heal. Just heal two. Straightforward. Bull rush. This sounds like something you would like. Attack two plus X. X is your move value this turn. Not distance moved. So it's... um If you have move above that... I would only ever have one. Oh, well, so it'd be three for you. It's still a good attack. Three I already attack. have a three attack. Your move value this turn. Yeah, so I but I that might uh, combo with encourage actually. So I'll give you another move that way. So it could be more. And strong attack, just straight up three damage. So what would you like? So. I think you need you should get encouraged because you could move me. <laughs> okay, I'll get encouraged. Because that's I wouldn't be able to get that and move myself because it says an ally. It has to be an ally, that's okay. right. Yep, I agree. And I love support stuff, so I'm torn between the bull rush to work with that or a heal. Do you need heal? Uh fine. doesn't hurt. Alright. Bull rush, let's try it. To, we're no, we're trying to combo. Combo Okay. Okay, next one. So that was level up. Then we draw two items to Dara's cart, which we'll ignore right now. Because we don't have her cart yet. We'll explain it later. We gain six silver and two runestones. So can we update that right now? And gain three trap components. So we'll add three more to the board. There's the rope we needed earlier. But it's can really an ally? She's normally the whole team. Let's be real. <laughs> so all right it's all around this is the game and so we're gonna do this two more times and that's it okay and it'll go a lot faster because we've already explained the game so surprisingly we just attain damage to the gate so that's really good i took my stuff off i figured that was fine yeah it's fine all right exploration let's do that now nope 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 we only want spot to explore oh so that is c someplace there you go. Place map tile 16A and read 102. Tora wipes the cobalt blood off her blade and then strolls over to you. The path ahead is a dead end. It seems you are out of options, which is true, because it's a dead end. But as you give the cave around you one last glance, you see an oddly shaped stone protruding from the wall. You walk over, and as you place your hand on it, it starts to move and you hear a loud noise in the distance. You place map tile 15 with map tile 4. Ah, so now we have more spots to explore. And fortunately, we're going to have to, like... Move things? Move things a little bit. We'll stack this on top of each other. Okay, there we go. Okay. So do we still explore that now? Or... That's the only place we can explore, because this is a dead end now. But makes sense? So now, but right now, not next. Yes, time. right now. Until we until it tells us to move on, we keep doing it. So, place tile, map tile 9A. Read verse 106. The mechanism has moved a seemingly solid wall in front of you. There's a strange room, and among other items of varying quality, you see Dara's cart. Yes! She shouts, throwing caution to the wind, then tur turning towards you and pulling you in for a hug. Slightly embarrassed by this unviking like show of affection, you quickly focus on searching the room for valuables. Take out the party sheet, unlock column items one through four. Party sheet. So in this game, to keep track of your campaign, you have this big sheet. And you'll be unlocking hero classes, items you unlock, any lore which has like backstories to the the, um, the the story you can read, any decisions you made, you'll record them here, all that fun stuff. So um not gonna mark it here, but just let you know that is in the game. Uh, one thing I will mention is this is this is probably the most important thing. Depending on how well you do, there is this track up here. 
and you will if you win the game you'll move towards um i think it's the left side yeah is is you if you lose lose the game you move to eighth year and basically what that's going to do is it's going to make the game if you lost it's going to make the game easier if you won it's going to make the game harder okay. so it's going to self correct as you play you're in deep sheet now yes all right um that's the party sheet okay so we unlock the common items one through four which i'll explain unlock rare items okay so now this is where we have the cart um okay so so let's do it we get to show you what that is right now so there are four common items and these are what they are the healing kit heal one for just one um the hammer repair two a wheat stone which is pierce it's a wet stone a wet stone a wit stone yeah wet stone and a cobalt dagger one attack so these are basically always available um for us to purchase and you can have multiple thingies yep any number you want you just have to pay for them those are all ones now we also get two of these as well i'll shuffle this up real quick and we'll get two rare items. So every time you play the game, you get different items coming out. So this is what's available to us to purchase this time. A healing potion for two. Or Iron Claw, which is attack one and bleed. Bleed is a fast effect you will inflict on potential heroes or enemies. And at the start of the turn, they take one automatic, automatic damage. Okay. So. I feel like that's a Kim card. I kind of want that. <laughs> it's cost two silver for that actually both of them all right that's it so that's how the items work now and usually when you play this game that will be available available to you at the start of the game because this tutorial they they add that later as part of the teaching so all right um let's keep exploring so we have two options now if we look at this tile we can go to m or k Let's do M. M it is. Place tile 5A. If you explored K already, read this verse. Otherwise, read verse 105. So we didn't do K. Not yet, no. So we read verse 105. In the room beyond you, see a familiar portal shimmering in midair, and as you watch, more enemies emerge from it. Gain one rune stone. So that's our resource up there. Get three now. As you head into the preparation phase, you can now pre perform some new actions. Buy items, sell items, heal, and rebuild traps. Uh, oh, now we do preparation phase. So that's it. Now we move on to phase two. Okay. Spend resources, exchange items, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, I feel like we should fortify again. Okay. Um... That's going to be all our rune stones. Which we can do. That's fine. It's a, it's a good thing to do, for sure. Mm -hmm. But it just means we're not upgrading our traps, which is fine. <laughs> Maybe off to the right? Okay. The other thing about um, fortifying... It has to be next to an already fortified tile. I can't like fortify this down here. Okay. Yes. So you're always going from the gate outward. So yeah, you can do this one. Or do we go this way? I mean, arguably, this is our stronger trap. So yeah, maybe it makes sense okay. to fortify this here. So that's going to be all our. Stones? That's all the rune stones are gone. Yep. Okay. So we're going to mark that as zero up there. Um, did you want this iron claw? Yes. <laughs> okay, I spent two silver. Um, let's build another trap, shall we? Yeah, bleed says it takes X damage at the end of its turn for all turns. So here you go. You build another trap, sure. You have four. You can't buy the rune. Let's let's do this guy. No blade trap. Yeah. That's all the resources. Okay. The other thing we could have done is you can rebuild traps 
which is three rune stones that fully heals the trap, even if it's destroyed. Um, you can heal a hero, which is one rune stone to fully heal one hero. And you can sell items, so if you have items you don't like, you can sell them for half cost rounded down. Okay. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Now, we can redistribute our... Yeah, exchange items if you want. Nope. Okay, let's try for thought. Just asking. And then I we move on to shuffle enemies and respawn them. There we go. Enemy time. And we rinse and repeat. Okay. Where are you starting? Always do the same order, so it'll be right here. First enemy is going to be a rune golem. This one does have armor. Um, so every time you attack, it's going to reduce by one. And for us, it's going to have nine health. Target trap with the highest hit points. Attack, which is going to be X. X is going to be two against a trap or one against the gate. So it's going to destroy our traps as it moves along. That guy has to die quickly. I got it. You got it? Okay. Where's he at? Eight, nine? Nine. Ooh, okay, sure. Yeah, he's, he's a tough one. You do have your spot weakness, though. All right, next one we have is the Trapper. Um, he's immune to traps, and on one here anywhere on the map tile with a trap suffers attack one. So he, like, turns our traps against us. We kind of don't want to be on the traps with him. And he's going to have five health. No other abilities there to worry about other than immunity. Next one is going to be a Frost Collar, also with armor. This one attacks at range one for two damage. So, and he has four health for us. And let's see, we got two more to go. The Thief, which we saw earlier. Just go straight to the gate and exhaust our items. And he's going to have five. Okay. And then our last one is going to be the Spearman, which we saw earlier as well. Got the evasion. And he's going to have five health for us. Not the last one. There's three more. Yes, on this lane. Sorry. Okay. Evasion token and five health. Okay. So is, am I going here or here? Up. Here, right here. Okay, so there's the horde. Horde's back, okay. Saw them before. And the next one's going to be the assassin. We've not seen this before. Start of its turn. Move onto the map tile with the hero with the highest hit points. He teleports. Fast. I believe fast means he moves and attacks. Yes, he does move and attack. Target the player with the highest hit points. So he's just going to... Teleport to the play person with the highest hit points and attack them. For okay. half the hero HP rounded up. Ouch. Yes, so he knocks down half health each time. Ouch, okay. And he has five health. One more? Yep. Yep. The warrior is back with his evasion. We saw him earlier. And he's going to have five health. Bring our room on the table. Okay. Okay. Now we move on to combat. Boop, 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 boop. Emmy's turns. There we go. Emmy's activate. So he's gonna move. This guy is range one. He moves. He at. Let's see. No, this guy moves as well. Mm -hmm. This guy is the thief. Mm -hmm. Enemy turn start if he's on a gate. If the oh no, he's on the gate, so he's not gonna exhaust our stuff yet. But he moves three spaces: one, two, three. Be right there. And the spearman also moves one. You got the most health, and then he's gonna attack you right now. Oh, so he is attacking me for three. Yes, down to two, two life. Oh no. Yep. And then he just moves. Assassin keeps slicing off half of what's left, so you never die. <laughs> it's <zero laughs> yeah. Um, is that how it works? Hold on. It's um, 
half your HP rounded up or one oh, against rounded the gate. Up. Yeah. So yeah, you took three damage rounded up. But you had one, it'd be half rounded up to one. So he would eventually kill someone. Yeah. But he's gonna attack me next. Yo, because he'll jump back and forth. Yep. Okay. Yep. So Still he... not great. No, he needs to die. Okay. Oh wait, we should have positioned ourselves. We skipped that part. It wouldn't matter right now, but depending on where you start, he's going to be on your space. Yes. So where would you want to position yourself? Um. You said you could take out the rune golem? Yeah. Okay. I'm in a bad, bad spot, though. With all these guys coming at me. You want me over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Put me on um on that blade trap as well. I think a trap on the other side can defend for themselves for the most part. For now. <clears throat> okay. This guy's here. Yes. Okay. Traps go. So that tr this trap happens first. It's gonna do it gets upgraded. So it's going to do four attack ones. Oh, which is nice because the assassin could take it all. Could take it all, yeah. Because the armor is not going to do anything against the golem, so. There we go. Okay, it's down to one. So good, we can kill the, arm, the assassin this turn. <clears throat> okay. That blade is going to spin, and that one is only a level one, I believe. Yes, it's just going to do two. Yep, just two damage. And that horde is going to destroy that trap. So, eventually. Yeah, it's, I mean, it happens. Okay. <clears throat> so the golem with his armor, does it armor one for every attack I Every do? attack. Okay, this kind of messed up my plans, but because that's Because that's why the blade is really good against certain enemies, but not against him, because he's mm -hmm. going to prevent all of that damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But you have options. I do. You have a lot of options, actually. Um, Pierce, yeah, exactly. I can pierce. Want me to pierce? Uh, yeah, I also have pierce, yeah. Because I can pierce here, go for the throat. I go for the throat would be uh, pierce through his armor, and then be attack 1 plus X, X is his armor, so it would be 2 damage. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> oh yeah, we can take him out. That's good. So let me do that yes. first. Matt, so... I'm so glad you're paying attention, thank you. <laughs> So two damage there, uh -huh. and then my second M1 will be engaged two, will be another. One damage. Two damage. Attack two. It's not piercing no, damage. it's pierced because I pierced first. Oh, it carries through? The end of your round, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, hot diggity. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um. Yeah, I'll pierce two again. So two more damage on him. Down to five. Okay. Yes, Pierce lost the whole turn, exactly. But only does for... Your Pierce doesn't cover me? Or does it? I don't think so. I think it. I think it's um until the end of turn, which is the player turn. Okay, so I'm going to do spot yeah. weakness first, which is Pierce three. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So what is he at now? A one, two, three. He's at two life. I will then do because my range attack does it have to be range one or can it be one or in my spot? In your spot's fine. Yep. I'm gonna do fix it. Okay. Which is attack one for the assassin, so he's dead. Okay, assassin dead. Nice job. Can you take him off the board, please? I don't like him. <laughs> I'll take him off the board. She's your least favorite character. <laughs> I've got two life left. <laughs> well, uh, you. Then I'm going to do repair one. Okay. Good. Okay. And then he's got two. I'm going to do engage for just two attack to kill this guy. Well done, Cam. Rune Golem dead. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Next round, enemies move. So, starting over here, we have... This is the Trapper. 
Oh, wait. We would have took damage. We should both take one damage. Why? Um, enemy turn start. One hero... Oh, one hero anywhere takes one damage. I'll take I'll take both damage here. We've, we've got right on that. I'm at two. You're at two as well. So, basically, he makes the, ta the traps attack us for one damage. Oh, okay. And then he is going to move here, and he wants to attack the trap. He's not going to attack us. Then we have this guy, which is the thief. Yes, he moves to the gate. <clears throat> and he's going to exhaust our items while he's there. Were we supposed to get an item? We bought items, yes. I meant these. No, not, not anymore. Okay. Yep. And then this guy is the cross collar, shoots at range one, so he's going to move here. Next turn, he's going to start shooting us from that spot. Okay. And then this guy is the spearman, he moves here. The horde is attacking for two. Mm hmm. And then uh, that is the warrior. Okay, blades. Oh, not blades. Traps activate. So this one is going to attack. Who is this? Four single attacks. He's the trapper. He's immune to traps. Doesn't take any damage. Oh, great. Okay. Um, two single attacks. Yep. Two more damage. And that is it. Our turns. We're in a little bit of pickle. This is kind of bad. Uh-huh. Yep. Now's a good time to use our, our items before he the thief exhausts us stuff. I, I'm i okay with the gate taking damage. It hasn't taken damage yet, so we've been doing really, really good. Okay. So, um, I do have heals, so I can definitely heal us. I think you need to heal us. Um, what, do you, what are you thinking about doing? I can make that trapper bleed. But he's only five. Or I could just kill him. I think I just want to kill him. The trapper? Yeah. Or is it this... Or I could go and kill this guy. He's the one that's going to make our items go away. Um, exhaust them, yeah. Yeah. Um... I could take the trapper out on my turn. Okay, do that. Hey, Dan! Hey, Dan. Welcome. Because I can use my ultimate for that. And then I can start healing us a little bit as well. Thief has five. I can kill the thief. I'm not worried about the thief, honestly. I'm more worried about this guy. He's going to keep sniping us. Yeah, Tower Defense Dungeon Crawl is very cool. It's a very cool game, Dan. It's a very cool game. Um... Right now we're in the second phase. Now the other thing I can do is I can give you an extra movement or attack. Well, I can kill the frost guy if you're worried about him. Do you need me to help you move the, move there? Or are you okay? No, I can get there. Okay, so then I'll go kill, first. I could kill this guy, or I could kill this guy, or I could kill that guy. Are you going to use your items? To do so, yes. To do so what? To kill guys, yes. Okay. What are you thinking? I'm... Well, I use, I use my ultimate to take out that guy. The trap guy, which is super annoying. I Unfortunately, I'm going to get this exhausted, but that's okay. You can keep your items for a little bit. Because the trapper says... We have to get rid of the trapper because he's hurting The thief, us. sorry. Yes, I'll give it... Okay, I'll do. I'll go first. That's fine. Okay. Pierce, damage, three attack. Unless you mean pierce the other guy. This guy's got armor. You know that, right? Oh. Should I take him out instead? Can you take out the trapper? I can still take that frost guy out. I can easily do it. Okay, let let me do, do it. That. Let me do it. Okay. So Pierce armor goes through his armor. Three three damage. He's down to one. You're not life. on his spot. It's anywhere. Attack anywhere. Oh, okay. And then I can throw my flask, which is attack. Nope, I have to move. I will move into that spot.
Did that not work? It did. I was trying to heal you at the same time. I can't do it. That's okay. Attack two, he's dead. He's trying to do more stuff. <clears throat> okay. I'm done. He's dead? Um... Crosscut? Yes, he's dead. Yep. So I have to take this trapper guy out. Or the thief out. Because mm. no one's going to be in the trap spot. True. But he's going to attack the trap. That's fine. Only for two. You'd rather take out the other guy? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. So I'm going to move. One. Yep. And... Thief here. Doesn't have armor, right? No armor. Just has five health. Overpower for three. Nope. Mm -hmm. Shoot. That works. And just use your dual axes. Yeah, I know, but then that's like way overkill. I mean, you have to move, so... So well, this bull rush would be three. That's still the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do cleave and dual axes. So two, four, five, six damage. Yep, thief is dead. Good job. And we took our turns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next round. So enemy's gonna do stuff. This is Spearman. He has no target. He's moving. That horde is going to attack that trap again for two. You're not in range of the Spearman? Oh, no, because he didn't attack. Yeah, he's, he attacks in, in my spot. Yep. Trap is looking pretty weak there. And then what does this thing do? This, he just moves. He just moves. He's only going for players. Okay. Traps activate. So he's immune. Wait a second. What is this guy? Trapper first. Oh wait, trapper first. Thank you. You're right. Thank you, Matt. I skipped. I skipped him. So he would have done two damage to this trap. There we go. He's down to three. Now this trap will go spins. He's immune. Doesn't take any damage. So this one's going. So it's going to do two damage. We could do it to. We might as well do it to the horde. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna lose that trap. I think. Mm-hmm. No, I can save it. No, I can't. Maybe. You, you can't. If you get me here. You can save it? I can save it. It's going to take two damage next turn, though. I will... Nope, it's dead. You have to. You, have, you would have to take out the horde. I don't think you're fast enough to do it. Can, you can move me anywhere? I can move you one space. Nope. Can't do it. Get to the trapper! <laughs> yes. I know. I can't get there fast enough. I should have picked up some movement. <laughs> yeah, your character's strong, but slow, so. Um, If you take this guy out, I'll take this guy out. I'm not worried about this guy. He'll just come towards me. I think I'm going to come down, down here and start dealing with that. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Or you can move me there. And you can hit this other guy. You're not worried about that. What? Over there. We can't fit save that trap. Or the horde? I can't hit the horde. If you move me, I the closest I can be is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Um... So you want me to wait there until the until the spearman gets to my spot. Yeah, and heal us. Okay. Move me and heal us, and I can kill this guy. Oh. Can you go? Can I can I not move you? Or do I have to move you? Because I can either move you or heal you. I can't do both. And that's because. Actually, let me zoom in down here. Maybe those guys can make it out. That's because my. He, I've got heal two here. It's really hard to see. Sorry, guys. 
and heal one up here. My movement to move you is down here, so that means I can't do... This is range two. And this heals at range one. You need to move me if you and want. I have to do this first. You have to move me if you want me to kill that guy. Okay, then I can't heal you. That's heal fine. You. As long as you... I will attack the air and heal myself. For three. I'm up to three now. And then I will move you anywhere. Anywhere? Sorry, one space. Oh, God. Just just like, I would totally go after the horde. And save the trap. All right, quick slash for two damage. And overpower for three damage. That's five. Kabam! You know what? Damn! Get it Get it down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that trap you definitely want to make sure it doesn't go away. This is fully upgraded. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Enemies move. Here comes the spearman. That Draugr is going to destroy the trap. Nope. Uh, just take the dice off. Because oh. we can repair it. Okay, then traps activate, so that spike trap is going to do damage to the spearman. The evasion is gone. Uh, the warrior, sorry. And it's our spearman. turn. Oh, you moved him? I moved him. He didn't attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to fix it. Range one hit to his spearman, so he's not... He's, evasion's gone. Yeah. Nice. And I will fix this trap for one. Cool. And... Swinging at the air. Okay. I really should have put a move down here. That would have been <laughs> smarter. Well, maybe next next turn. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Um, I need to take advantage of what you did, which means I'm not healing you. That's fine. So I'm going to go for the throat, which is one damage. Boop. And then... Actually, do I move? Why? Oh yeah, you should not stay there. Yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do one damage. This was here. Bummer. I wish I could attack and then move. I can't. So since you're you can take care of that guy, I'm not worried about it. You got you got stuff. I'm going to move two. I'm going to sprint. Run back over here. And then I'm going to do the blessing. Heal two, range two. I like how you just grab your dice. Assuming <laughs> I'm healing you. Are you not? I am. See? But I'm just pointing this out. Because I know you. <laughs> you were healing me. I was a legal target too. Nope, that, that's not what you were doing. I just know you. <laughs> Swear. Okay, no, that's fine. All right, that's our turns. I'm going to keep my my other ultimate ready to go, so. Enemies go. Spearman. He's now back with the evasion. He's moving here. Oh, he's going to shoot me, isn't he? No, no, he doesn't have range. Just kidding. Yep, he moves. Okay, traps activate. A spike trap is going to do damage to the horde. And well, actually, the trap's gonna take it out, mm -hmm. so it's not too bad. And then this trap is gonna knock off his evasion. And this is a level oh, I forget a level three, four, three, so four attack. So one attack knocks off evasion, and the other three, one, two, three, down to two life. Okay. Right. And we have to go. First row, second row. Top row, bottom row, exactly. Attack two. You have this too. Don't forget about that. No, I don't need that. Okay. Attack two. Unless you are doing something. Um, if I go first, well, you need to move. You should I... go first. Well, then I can't kill that guy. That's what I'm saying. You should go first because I can move you after you kill it, right? Sure. Unless you don't want to move for some reason? No, I... Okay. Attack two, he's dead. Okay. Dead spearman. And then swinging in the air. Okay. And then my turn... 
I'm going to throw a flask. To heal one, I will heal you, Kim. Thank you. Nope, I'm gonna heal myself. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can heal you. Wait, which is it? You. You take it. You take it. That's fine. Okay. And I'm gonna move you one space. Okay. Enemies go. Okay, so the horde is hitting this down for one. Mm -hmm. Or two, one. Yep. And then the warrior is moving into our spot. <laughs> and then trap to activate, which will finally kill the horde. And then it's our turn, which I think we're okay. We will survive. I will survive. Um, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> uh, let me... You, let me just start, because I can heal before you finish them off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for the throat, which is just one damage. Yes, takes off his evasion. Then I'll do blessing, which will heal to put me at full health. So I'm pretty sure you can take him out. Okay. Attack one. And repair one. Okay. So he is... Down. Down to four. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, so it's going to be overpower and then iron claw. So four more damage. Yep. Got him. Got him. Good job, Kim. Because these come back, right? Those come back. Yeah. Yep. Okay. yep. Speaking of which, reward time. Check the quest board, which you don't have to worry about right now. Um, we reset one ultimate. So more of our ultimates come back. Our, all our items come back. Skill tokens go away, which I have to worry about that. Uh, we level up. Okay, here we go. Level up time. Just like before, drawing four. Now these are the fun ones. Okay. But they're level three. Do they go anywhere? I'll show you. So, first one we have is... Barbed Arrow. Attack three, range two. Ooh. Now, up here, see the little arrow? It has to go in the bottom row. Okay. Anywhere in the bottom row. So that's how you know where they go. Next one we have is Balance Offense. This is top or bottom. Attack three. Then we have this one, which is Dance of Blades. In any order, attack, attack or move, attack or move. Then we have Dash. Move three, attack one. Ooh. Ooh. It has to be on the top. That's amazing for you. Yeah, but then we lose our repair. No, you put anywhere. You cover any ability. No, that one has to go on the oh, top. Any on any on top. Yes. Oh. Yeah, which oh. is amazing for your bull rush. Yeah, I would take over advance for that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want that one. Yeah, that's amazing. Because that'll be three plus damage plus your bull rush, which is huge. You're like in there. We go. Kill mode right now. But it's still all my movements in my first. Thing. I mean, you can put it in a different spot. Nope, it's going there. You just completely didn't have enough movement. I did, but... I'm... Oh, we have two movement options. You're good now. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Um, and for me... Lean towards the arrow? Yeah, I like that one. That's a blade is some bad, but I like the... Let's do the arrow. So I can do some more attacks, too. Because I feel like you're taking all the attacks. Well, you know, it's normal. Normal? <laughs> what? What? Okay. We are leveled up. Moving on to the next one, um, draw two items. So we get two more items we can buy. Take a look at what those are. Those are going to be a remote trigger, activate a trap in range two. And then we have, oh gosh, plus one attacks from skills and ultimate abilities this turn. <laughs> if you have multiple attacks, it can be amazing. That one costs two, the other one costs three. So those we can buy. Uh, keep going down the list. Gain six silver and two runestones. And we gain three trap components. I want the rope. Nope, we... we gain three more. So draw three more cards. Oh. Yep. And you can stack them. Just... All right, I've got a little bit of everything. Okay, guys, so this will be the last round. <clears throat> when do we pick these up, though? We No, we have them. Oh, we have them. They're for upgrade. Upgrade, okay. Yeah, yeah. I want this back. Okay. 
Can we do that? How, how much does that cost? We'll get to that phase soon. We can't do it right now. doesn't matter. Now we can explore. Okay, you need to move your map. Yeah, I can do that. Because these are actually down here. Okay. So, which one do you want to explore next? You pick. It's E or K. Well, this one says something happens after we explore this one. But do you want to find out the end of that first? Sure. Okay. So, E is going to be 6A, and we get an event. So, over there, you should see a, a stack of ones. Yep. Draw that first one. Let's see what it is. Here's a random event. You hear noise in the distance, and as you approach, you find a small stream surrounded by healing spirits dancing through the air. Choose one option. You can rest, fully heal both two heroes, which is both of us. Um, I'm only one away from You're me. one away. Draw spirit energy, refresh one ultimate ability, which we're fine. Gather and sell some healing water, gain two silver. Or catch and sell a spirit, gain four silver, then read a global event. Um, which is something else we can do. Um, let's not do that because it's spoilers. Yeah, I feel like selling a spirit is just a bad thing to do. <laughs> you can do it. I don't know. Let's do the silver one. Okay, gain two silver. So, cool. That's the event. Okay, keep exploring. Okay, what's F? I'm going to do F and keep on all the way down. F is 17A. Dead end. You rush into the cave, but halt abruptly when you spot a strange-looking kobold wearing feather and bone armaments, standing next to a spider twice its own size. Other of his kin are gathered around him. As he sees you, the kobold shaman gestures in your dire direction, and glowing green clouds emerge from its hands, slowly drifting towards you. Magic, take cover! Taurus shouts as she quickly retreats into the previous corridor. Place elite enemy kobold shaman on this map tile. Is the only spawn on this tile. Start preparation phase. You just found a boss. Boop. I assume that's that one. <laughs> nope. I don't actually have a mount. Oh. I was not prepared for the boss. So he would be... Okay, well, we'll go through the preparation while I, I'll, I'll gather that as we go. Um, so preparation phase... Um, this is where we can spend stuff. So, your question was, rebuild the trap costs three rune stones. We have two. Crap. So, yes. I think we need to fortify to the right. <laughs> okay, we can do that. How much is that again? Uh, we, nope, we can't do that. It costs three rune stones. Nope. We have two. Shoot. And we can't rebuild this guy. We can. We can repair it. But we can't rebuild it completely. Fully heal it. How much do we... How much can we get? Get what? How, how much can we repair this stuff? No, you have to use actual repair stuff. I have to use my fix it? Yes. That's the only way to do it right now. Oh, okay. We have a hammer. We can buy this for one silver. Oh, we repair it too. Someone can carry that. Okay. Can you buy rune stones? Uh, I don't think you can. That's a good question, Matt. Hmm. And we don't have enough. Oh, we could buy a rune, a big trap. It's cost six silver for that. We can have more than one trap in a spot, or no? Yes, two. Because I feel like this is extra long. The boss is right there, which I need to finish grabbing. Um, that might be the biggest issue we have right now. So how much would it be if we bought the big trap that we haven't seen yet and, Here's the up boss. and upgrade it? Um, sorry, what? How much is it to buy that and upgrade it? Um, upgrade the first level? Here, let me put it on the screen so you can, everyone can see. It's six silver to buy the first time. Then it's a runestone plus a crystal, which we have. 
And we can do the let's next just, one. Let's just go all the way. All the way? All the way. Since we only have two runestones, we have no other reason. To okay, do. so all the runestones are gone, all, two crystals are gone, and a rope is gone, and we have a level three rune trap. And we have two money. Wow, that's a lot of money. Jeez. Okay. We have two? Oh, we have more than that. We had eight. I just spent six. Okay, you're right. Level three rune trap. Timestamp, but Kim was right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the upgrade. That's you fine. Have the upgrade token. It's underneath that already. Oh, nope, you didn't pick it up. Right there. Where did I put the enemy? Oh, here he is. All right. So then this was like. He's there's no more spawns on that on that tile. Okay, but we're still spawning all that we nonsense. Will we will be yes. Goodness. Yep. Um, since we have some money, do we want to repair stuff? Yeah, I thought you said we couldn't repair. Well, okay, that thing. We can also buy... You like the Rune of Flames, if you want to get super high attack. I already have high attack. I think we need other variety. Okay. Activate a trap. Which is... Uh, actually, it's not bad. Because you can activate that Rune Trap that does four damage. It's three money. We have two. Oh, just kidding. Can't afford it. We can buy the hammer... By healing, we don't need more healing. I think we're can healing. Might as well. We only have two money. It's the last round. Yes, yeah, so we should use all the money. So let's do the healing and the repair. Or do you want Pierce to go through armor? Oh, probably need that. She doesn't have armor. Yeah, but something might pop up. Nope. I'm gonna do heal because I think I'm gonna run away from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you can take the repair. Okay, take the repair. So that's all our resources. Yep. All right. Let's see. Um, exchange items. Are we okay with item distri distribution? Yep. And we're going to step aside while we spawn and then figure out where we're going to be. Okay. Because it's position heroes last. That's okay. correct. That's correct. Hey, right, here we go. First one in order up here, 8A. It's going to be the Horde, which is a really good spot for it here. And that one's going to be at 8 health. Actually, it's not that great because the uh, yeah. rune is not going to do much against it. Okay, the next one down the path is going to be the thief we've seen before. He's going to move three. But he's going to be right on the gate. And he's going to be five health. And we have the bomber next, which is heading straight to the gate. And he's going to be... Five health. And next one's going to be the cave worm. This is new. Immune to traps because he's burrowing under the ground. Um, he has... He's only going for the gate. Because he's going on the ground and he's got two attack. And he's going to have nine health. So he's a... He's a thing to deal with. <clears throat> I'm going to move this out of the way because this stuff doesn't matter at this point. And then next one we have is your favorite, the assassin. <laughs> hey, that guy. He's going to have five health. And let's see. One more on this lane is the golem. He's got the armor. And he has nine health. Okay. Yeah. Other side, 10A tile is going to be the trapper. So if we're on trap spots, the traps will attack us, and he's going to have five health. And then we have two more. The spearman, which we've seen before, he's going to have five health and evasion token. There's the evasion token. And then last but not least, the final enemy of this playthrough is the Wraith, who finally came out. Fast. Also undead, so if I, I can heal it, if we need to. Okay. Only targeting people, so it's going to move towards us and attack. Attack three. A hero that takes damage from the Wraith performs move two towards the gate. So it's going to shove you towards the gate each time. Okay. So. Um, but the fast is? Move and attack. Move and attack, but not teleport? Not teleport. Okay. Not teleport. Yep. What's and that it? is... 
How much health? Yeah, check. Eight. Eight. Okay. All right, that is all the enemies. Here we go. Where do we want to start? We know the assassin's coming, and he's coming towards either of us. So if you want, I can take the damage if you want. Wouldn't the end? Aren't the bad guys going to go or not yet? We're going to put ourselves down. Then, they, then we go to combat. The first thing in combat is enemies go. Ooh, yes. I'm going to start here. All the all of them come after me. The rune stone can take do a lot of damage to him. Okay. And actually, how much health does he have? The trapper. Five. Not the trapper. The assassin. The assassin. Assassin has. Five health. Oh, he's dead. We got him. Okay, good. But the Wraith Woman is also a problem. Yeah, eventually. What if I start here? Okay. You want to... Okay. Oh, wait, no. This is going to hurt me. This is going to hurt. One person takes damage. I could take the damage. One hero anywhere on the map. Okay. Yeah, I can take the damage you want. It's fine. I'll be at one life. Mm. Why are you going to be at one? Oh, because you're going to get hit by the assassin. Mm -hmm. The assassin will be dead. But then... Um, I think we'll be okay because... I think I'm going to start here. Who's this guy? The thief? He's going to be at the gate. Actually, he will be at the gate, the thief. If you don't, if you won't get rid of him right away. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right, let's uh, activate enemies. So, first one is going to be the horde, which has no target. It moves here. The thief is going to run to the gate. Movement at three. This is the exploder. He moves one. This is the worm who moves one as well. This is the assassin. Assassin. Yes, he will move here. He's fast. He's going to knock me down half health. So I'm down to two life. I am going to use my amulet of frosty. Exhaust that. Retaliate one. If I take damage, um, someone else in my spot will take one damage. He's going to take one damage right now. So he's at four. Okay, the golem moves. And then the boss lady. Let's look at her card. Um, I've not shown this to anybody yet. This has a lot going on. So, this one has 10 health for us. Perform only the first attack possible. So, it's going to attack a player at for 2 damage in its spot. Or it's going to attack a player at 1 damage at range 2. Or it's going to attack the gate for 1 damage at range 5. Okay. So when it gets within five range of the gate, so we keep sniping it until we get close to it. Oh. Yeah. I kept reading, too. Enemy turn ends, which is going to happen now. Heal on one kobold with missing health anywhere. Can target himself. Otherwise, he can do damage to the gate. So, unfortunately, we did have the assassin take damage, so he's going to heal the assassin once. Which is better than the gate taking it. I guess, but I was going to take him out. It's fine. Okay, but, but he, can, he can't attack, so it's going to move. Yep. So that is that. Now we move to the next lane, which is... What is that guy? Trapper. He just moves here. Did you take your damage from this? I did not. Enemy turn start. I'm at one life, unless you wanted to take it. I'm not on a... Oh, just spot. kidding. And she's fast, so she's going to go here. Whoa! Try again. She moves and attacks. You're thinking of the assassin who Oh, teleports. you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. He's got special rules. Yeah, he just moves. You're fine. Okay. Okay. And now it is traps time. So those traps are going to activate. The horde will take damage. Uh, one, two, three, four. Because it's piercing. No, because it takes... Remember, each damage it takes is one. Oh, the spinning And one. it does four separate attacks. So let's do four damage to it. The kobold, because the rune that's there, can do four damage to it and knocks down to one life. So I just have to do one damage to it, which I can do. Okay, Arden. Yep. Who am I with? You're Who's with the... the thief, who has five health.
and you have some pretty sweet abilities. I know, but I need to one-shot it. One-shot what? The thief. The thief? Okay. When do, when do they take bleed damage? Before they go or after they go? At the end... Mm -hmm. Let me check. At the end of it, its turn, for every turn, it will take bleed. Okay. Yep. Um. So boss lady would be perfect for that one. I know. Or maybe someone with armor, too, honestly. Yeah. He's got five. How do I want to do this? I can make you attack, remember? For two. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to throw my flask. Attack one. I'll take out the assassin with that attack. And then heal one at range one. I'm tempted to... No, you got healing. I'll take it. And then I will do my second one. I can have you attack two. And you are attacking the thief. Mm -hmm. So he's down to three health. Okay. I have ultimates. You want me to use my ultimates right now or not? I feel like no. Um... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mm, I should save my ultimate for the wraith. Yeah. Okay. Save it. Okay. I'm gonna do fix it. Attack one on the thief. Okay. Thief is down to two. And I can heal. Fix this one. Uh, max health is five. I think. It's, oh. Yep. The full right. health. Shoot. So you don't have to fix it at all. You can still do it if you want. I'm going to save it. So, attack two. Hit him one more time. Okay. He's on a one. And then we'll just do the regular cleave attack. Okay. And he's dead. He's dead. Okay. That's it. Enemy's turn. So, this horde is going to attack... Uh oh, are you? Did you just die? I could have healed myself. Um, I forget what the priority of attacking is. So what we're looking at right now is the horde attack as a question mark, and I don't remember. We can choose what they attack, which I should have healed myself. I forget. Um, or if we do, we have an option. I guess is the question. Uh, target check. Okay. If it targets anything, the enemy checks for all targets and types in order of your choosing. Okay, good. Have it. So, take, don't 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 die. So I won't die. Let's do damage to the rune trap. Cause it's got more health. So let's knock it down to four. Okay. That's done. This is the bomber who's gonna explode. He moves here. He dies. This one also has nothing to target. He moves here. Golem's moving as well, and then if this one moves, and then at the end of the enemy turn, oh, enemy turn ends, so not yet. Not yet. Oh, uh, you're going to take a damage. Oh, okay. I'm down to one life. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I don't feel good about that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, but now she she does her special thing. She wants to heal a kobold who has taken damage. Which is nobody, so she's going to damage the gate for yes, one. Yes, the gate is now down to 19. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One more space, and she's going to start sniping the, the gate. I'm going to have to just charge at her, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, and those hold that hold on us, too, but... Sorry. Okay. Our turns. Oh, no. Traps go. So we have a spike trap of the... Oh, well, technically this goes first. 
So the horde is going to take four damage from the spinning blades, and it's dead. The rune trap has nothing that it can target. Okay, Spike will do one. And that's at who? The trapper. Nope, immune to traps. You're right. Okay. Shoot, he's going to kill that trap. Yep. We have no traps on that side. Okay, it's our turns. Maybe now I... remember, you have your bull rush ability, right? Mm -hmm. You do a ton of damage right now on yes. something. On um, what? What should I do? The worm? Uh, good. He's got nine health. We're not too worried about him yet. He's only going for the gate, so. The if you, bomber. If you move me one. Yes. I could kill the wraith. Can't. Can't move you one. I used my ability last turn. Oh. You want to go after the bomber? It's going to bomb me. You have range? One. We don't have range against the bomb. We can let the bomber blow up in the, the middle. I'm okay with that. I don't know. The gate's going to get destroyed by this oh, wait. this chick. The It's and not going to make it past the traps anyway. The traps are going to kill it. And then the traps are going to die. Traps are going to take a ton of damage. Which is horrible. Uh, so maybe... Do I need to go for that guy? He's got five health. Oh, I have range. Oh, wait. How much health does he have? Five. Yeah, I can take him out right now. Okay, do that. All right, so I'll go. I'll do my my roots, which is pierce three anywhere. So three damage on this guy. One, two, three. I'm going to get off the traps, I think. Yeah. Let's move one. I'll move into your spot. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do my barbed arrow, attack three, range two. Boom. He's dead. And he blows up. And there's nothing there. Okay. Good save. Okay. And I helped. Should I heal myself? You... Yes. You should heal yourself. You can heal me too. I am heading this way. <laughs> okay. Now I can use my, my heal for the rate then. What are you doing? So I can do four damage with that against a wraith. Okay. Am I at risk from being attacked? Um, I don't think so. I think we're okay. What's over there? What's that corner? The trapper. It's going to kill the spikes. Okay. And then they're just going to keep marching. Okay. I'm, I'm safe for now. Okay. I'm going to move... Three and attack one. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, Warren has no armor, so it takes one damage. He's down to eight. He didn't do bull rush. Okay. Attack two plus the movement, so five. Because I moved three. Yes, five more damage. Huge damage! You're down, it's down to three. And dual axes will kill it. No, is that three life? Two attacks, two. Oh, two times. Yeah, that, that would do it. Die, ah, you worm scum. Boom, Gavin's land worms. Good job, Kim. Get out of here. Good job. I kind of feel like I should have saved the dual axes for the spider, but it's fine. Let's do it again. Let's go. Okay. Um, that's it. Enemy mm -hmm. turns, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, oh yeah, this doesn't do anything. Yep, so that enemy's gonna attack, right? He's dead. Does he want to attack tra tra traps? Yes. Yes, okay, that's dead. Okay. And then spearman, spearman moves. moves. Wraith moves. Yep. Oh, technically these go first. Oh, you're right. Okay. Do End of the turn. The oh, hold on a second. Would it move? What's its range for people? Two. Two. So you're on range. You're just yet. out of range. Yep, so it moves there. 
So now I want to heal Kobold, which doesn't have to. So it one can't. damage to the gate. Yep, gate takes another damage. It's fine. Okay. Traps activate. Let's do nothing. Okay. Can you handle this over here? Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> I wish you could move one more space. This guy is going to ignore me and just go after traps? Traps are gates. That's correct. Okay. This one is going to attack you, though. Yep. And she's right in range of the gate anyway. Do you, want me, do you need me to go first so you can get in her spot? That would be helpful. Do any of those guys over there have range? Um... The spearman will if he hits someone first. In, Which he won't. In his square. Okay. I will move to... So move me just one space over, please. To that spot. I'll wait for the, the guys to get there. Then I'll use this ability so you can move one space. Okay. Uh, move one, armor one. Because I'm going to need it. Yep. Big spider. Um, then I'm going to... Does she have... She doesn't have armor, no armor. or anything. I'm yep. just going to do overpower. Attack okay. three. Yep. One, two, three. She's down to seven. Okay. Now I'm going to do iron claw. Attack one. And she's bleeding. Yep. So you put a bleed took on him. So at the end of the turns, they're going to take extra damage. And... Tempted to double attack, get her down to one. That's it. Double attack. She's taking five more. One, two, three, four, five. She's down to one life. Whoa, you did that with your... My, uh, my super double so, attack up here. Oh, your double attack? Two attack and three attack? Yeah, two attack, three attack. Move one, armor one, and then overpower three attack. So I just did... And bleed. And bleed. So, okay, you, so. they're going to die on their end of the turn. And you got armor. Take that, spider lady. <laughs> So I might die over here, but you did a good I job. I will try to run as fast as I can You're to not save fast. you. I have dash. That's true. It's true. You have your bull rush. So, mm -hmm. okay, I think that's it for our turns, right? Yes. Okay, enemies activate. So this is going to activate first. This one's going to activate. Yes. You're in its spot, so you're going to take two attack. Yes. So you have one armor, you take one damage. And then hold on, at bleed, she dies. But enemy turn end, she tries to heal herself. At the end of its turn, it dies. Yeah, because it's healing one cold lot with missing health. Enemy turn. Not that's the enemy enemy's turn, not its turn. Oh, it's yeah, it's dead. It's dead. It dies. <laughs> so you just kill the boss with your bleeding just splash. So much rage going on right now. <laughs> Okay, so that was that lane. Then we have up there. So the trapper is now where you are. Okay. The spearman is now where you are, and the wraith is very close to where you are. I got one life. It's okay. You can run, and I'm coming. <laughs> okay. I, I'll save you. Trap dirty. activate should do nothing. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm using the wrong color tokens. Okay, our turn. Yes. He's got nine. I'm tempted to just let them run by me. Yeah, I think you need to run. Go for the wraith. How much health does the wraith have? Eight. And she attacks three. She moves and attacks. And then she's going to push you to the gate. You have to go to the... I'd run away. Go to the traps. Oh no, the trap guy would... Eight? Mm-hmm. I can almost do it. <laughs> I can knock him down to... I can do seven damage to it. It's close. Can you run past her and run away? No. No. You, have, you are not in a safe spot. You need to get to the, at least to where the traps are. The working traps. <coughs> Okay, so I will instead... I'll go first, I guess. 
Probably. I'm going to move one, so let's move it onto the gate. And then I'll do barbed arrow, attack three, range two. I think I'll hit the wraith for three. Okay. My one life, which is the risky part, but I'm trying to see if... I'm trying to see if I can last without using my ultimate. Oop, I should, should not have done that. I'm trying to save my ultimate for the Wraith. My last one. It's your turn, Kim. Move. Only move in two. Attack one. Ooh, he's got armor. He's got armor, yep. Pierce three first. Okay, ultimate. So three damage. One, two, three. Pierce one. He's down to five life. Okay. Um, full rush. Okay. Four more. Uh, it's your movement value, not how far you moved. I know. Two plus two is four. It's three. You move three. Oh, you're right. He's dead. It's five, five. right? Yeah, he's dead. You took him out. Another one shot. One shot. <laughs> Gosh. Look at Don't mess with Harkon. But that's all your, all your ultimates are spent, though. Yeah, but I feel like you can take the Wraith and the little guys will just ping off. Okay. I'm trying to get you to heal you. <laughs> okay. Enemies activate. <coughs> Our turns. How much health does the wreath have? She's down to five. I can only move one spot right now. How much damage do those guys... Oh, no, are they attacking the gate and they're not going to attack me? What's the priority target on those guys? The uh, trapper is targeting targets. Targeting targets, try again. The gate, then. Because there's no tar targeting... Targeting what? Uh, traps. Traps, yeah, so it's targeting the gate. Yep. Yes. What about the... Spearman spearman? wants... is the question mark. Okay, so it would attack either, either target, yes. And the wraith wants to kill you. Yep. I will take out the Wraith now. Okay. I'm just going to get as close as I can, which is black. Which Let me is... go first. Okay. Because I might be able to help you. Okay. You have two move? No, I can move oh, one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind then. Um, I can still take out the Wraith, though. Um, wraith has how much health? Five left. Throw a flask. I can do one attack in my spot. Let's attack the trapper. And then I do heal one at range one. Give it to our wraith buddy who's undead. Use my ultimate heal four. It's dead. At range oh, one? Oh, 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 just kidding. I have to be in spot. have to be in spot. Just kidding. Let me undo that. Let me do it all the way. I have to advance in the spot. Let's put this guy back up to heal that one guy. Said. Yep. Yep. Heal four, so that's four damage on it. It's down to what? I don't know where it was at. Well, here. I can do... I think it had five, right? I think it had five as well. I'm pretty sure it had five. So you're doing four, so it's got one left. And I can do attack two. Take it out. Okay. The Wraith is gone. Wraith is gone. They're past me. That's fine. I'm not dead yet. You're close, but you're... I'm close to dead. Enemies go. So I haven't gone yet. Oh, just kidding. Move one. Why don't you do something? His shield just because he can. Yeah. Did I not go? I didn't go. I killed, I the, I killed the worm. And then just a regular attack. Okay. Okay. Next turn, enemies go. Uh, they're both attacking the gate for a total of three. And you are uh, just died. Oh, has a target. Yep. Yep. It took me out. I forgot about that. Ah! Can I say? Can I revive you? Um, just a, just take him out. It's fine. Uh, just a legitimate question, though. If we were, can I bring you back to life? I don't. I'll I'll look in the rule book. I forget. Okay. My turn though. I forgot about the spearman. And he attacks adjacent spots. So. Yep. My turn. Yes. Okay. 
Because I could, if I can bring you back to life, I'll bring you back at one. Doesn't matter, because the game's going to end at this any, anyway. It's... Why? I can't kill them all right now. Oh, well, I'll look it up. That's what I'm asking you. It's too much to do, Steve. I can't do everything. Do everything? You can't kill all those guys? No, they're at five health each, and one of them has ev evasion. Can't you bull rush, knock off the evasion, and then kill them both? Oh, you use your ultimates. That's true. That is true. They may be revived for silver. For silver, which we have none. Okay, so it is all to me. Yep, it's all to you. That's during the... You can't revive them normally. You have to spend silver to do it. So, um, The gate should have taken four total damage. Not three. Okay. So one more damage on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so we are going to dash. Move. Um... Do one attack. I'm thinking of which one to hit. What do you have? Okay. And then I will bolt rush. So mm -hmm. it's going to be two plus three is five. So yeah, he's dead. Take out the trapper. Nice. Okay. Next round, enemies go. So what enemy does you what does you want to target? Whatever. Gate or it's a question mark, so I can choose for two. Just have him hit the gate for two. It's fine. I guess he hits a, tar a trap too, I guess. Yeah. So, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do quick slash. Because he evades all of it, right? Yes, that's correct. And, uh,. Overpower, so one, two, three. That's my turn. Okay, yep. And then he comes back. <laughs> Do two more to the gate. And one more to this. Yep. Down ten life, okay. I'm going to fix it. Attack him for one. And fix one of those. Okay. <laughs> just because you can. Okay. And then attack for two. One, two, he's dead. Did you count his evasion? Yeah. Okay. There we go! Victory! I did everything. <laughs> did everything. No, that's not true. You did kill a wraith. Hey, I died. I did yeah. that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I'll heal myself one because I had the, the <laughs> healing kit. La di da. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we do the final steps, which is rewards and everything. Um, we doesn't really matter. Um, we get items. We get stuff. Okay, we don't worry about that. I don't think because we move on to. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We had story tokens. We should have read some other stuff. One hundred nine. I messed that up. I apologize. Oh, that's just rules. That was just rules. Story event two, reverse one ten. I skipped some things, but these were just yes. Just rules that we're filling in the tutorial. That's correct. Okay. Um, and then there's an epilogue which we can read, which I will I will leave that for you guys to discover on your own. Um, but that does conclude the, the play. There's an epilogue of what happens at the end. So, Unless you really want to know. No, I'll read it myself. Okay. So, that is going to conclude this playthrough. Um, we would, of course, go onto the sheet, party sheet and mark stuff off. Make sure everything's concluded. Uh, but let's go ahead, go to the table, and talk about our experience. All right. That was Midhala. So, this one's currently on Kickstarter. Check the link in the description below. Um, I played this a few times already, but I'm curious what you think. This is your first time playing it. First time playing it. 
I had a good time. I think the beginning was weird. I think, though, because it was also the tutorial where it was just like, okay, just set three more tiles out. And that was that. So you could, I feel like you could have just set it up that way. Yeah, it was walking through. Yeah, so I think that's, it yep. was just the tutorial part. Because normally you have multiple paths and some branches. You can choose. At some point, you saw the branch down here in the corner, right? You can yeah. choose which direction to go. But you're right. The tutorial is railroaded for a little bit at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But what do you think of the other elements of the game? Um, I like my character that I could just murder everything, but I think maybe <laughs> maybe some more movement would be helpful. Yes. Um, I'm curious on, you know, maybe if there's you can like stash and save up the rune stone or you the can. silver, maybe that would have helped because I feel like you couldn't get enough stuff out, but that was also. Like, we still won, so we didn't need any more. Granted, you did die. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was aggressive. I could have healed myself basically any time. Oh, okay. So your so, fault. My, my choice was I wanted to save my ultimate attack for that wraith. So oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Plus, it's the end of the game. As long as you didn't die, we were fine. I was And you had... Fine. Yeah, no, I was more about you. <laughs> so, <laughs> plus, you went over here... Why she took it, boss? Like, that's true. I took out the boss. I took out and the, the giant worm and, and the worm. The golem. <laughs> you cannot give me crap. I That's took true. care of this That's whole true. side. <laughs> That's true. Uh, what yeah. do you think the determinist of combat? Um, where it's just like this is how it is happening is what you mean? Yeah, there's no randomness. It's just like two damage, three damage. You know exactly what's happening. Um, I like that because you can plan it out a bit, mm -hmm. and then you have certain choices to make. The fact that you can't double dip or go back to back is good um because otherwise i would have just kept <laughs> spamming, <laughs> spamming yeah yeah so that that was well designed in that sense uh -huh. um and the fact that i don't have to roll a die and have that element of luck when you have a constant barrage mar marching towards you i don't want that luck aspect i want right. to have that control so that was good i like that yep i'll jump in with some of my thoughts here uh I I think this game is really well designed, honestly. Um, I've played other games with Determinants of Combat, and they've fallen flat because it if you don't do it right, it can just become running through the motions, I guess, mm -hmm. right? And we saw a tiny bit of that at the very end of the game because the guy's not moving, he's at the gate, he's just doing damage, and you're just refreshing your abilities until you take him out, right? Yeah. So you saw a little bit at the end, um, and that, that's, but by and large, this game does a great job avoiding all that stuff. I, I find it a really good puzzle throughout the playthrough. Um, thoughts on the tiles and movement with the castle defense? Yes. Great question. Um, I like how it's very simple. Enemies move or attack. Easy. Right. And placing the traps down, um, you've seen, there are three traps here. You actually saw all of them in this playthrough of those three. But there's more. Oh. There's okay. more traps you unlock throughout the game. And there's some traps that I haven't even seen. Um, I'll leave those alone for spoilers in case you guys want to uncover on your own. Um, but yes. On the other places I did, we did build, I think, about the same number of traps. But we had them more upgraded. So you can choose how you want to approach that, which is pretty nice. Um, I really, really like the character builds. It's super simple. Top row, bottom row, done. And you've got slots for level 1, level 2 ability, but uh, you, can, you can build these in different ways, and you can see the combos work really well. Like, we did do our combo where I could give you a move, right? Um, mm -hmm. An extra move to get you in the right position, but... Yeah. So, Dan's asking about the, the number of tiles at the end. There's a lot. And... I don't know if it's just because of the way that they were spreading out. Like, I feel like you need the space for it, but it did matter though, right? I, yeah, it did yeah, matter. Because like you're yeah. spawning guys on each of those tiles and then they go. Right. And, and your question about, do they feel too far apart? Right. Um, I would not say that because they're always moving towards the gate. Yeah. So even if they're far away, it just means you have, don't have to deal with that enemy right now. You have to keep it back in mind that's coming, but not right now. You don't have to worry about it. Now that being said, the spider was super far away, but where she died, 
She was within range of hitting the gate. That's right. She was going to snipe the gate from there constantly. So you, we had to go out to get her. But that's a, those are rare. I mean, that's a mini boss, what comes down to it. Yeah. So those are rare. And the only thing that felt like it was far away was just because I didn't have the movement to get where I wanted to go until I got this dash. Every, I've seen, I think I've seen all the characters. And all the characters have their strengths and weaknesses. Your character definitely is more tacky, but as you saw the weakness, not very mobile. Mine's not quite as attacky, but I got a lot more movement for mine. So, and this the support. So, it's just a different approach on how you play it. Um, yeah. Now, I'm curious, though, because you said you couldn't fortify without have already fortifying a previous connected tile. That's right. And therefore, you wouldn't be able to put a trap, like, out. In the middle of nowhere. That's correct. I'm curious if though, if that would have been beneficial, or if you could do that at one point, be, to be like, okay, I'm just gonna go put a random trap, like way over here. Kind of, but if you think about it, only a portion of the enemies will ever see that trap. That's true. So you, it actually makes more sense to keep them closer to the gate because that trap is going to see every enemy at some point. Okay. So, so yeah, it's it that's an interesting idea, but I, I think I think I don't think. It would make a difference if it was open in that sense. Um, yeah, getting back to the point, but leveling up is really cool because you can build a character however you want each time. It does feel different. Um, I've played this character multiple times. Um, I've seen yours played multiple times as well. I've seen different builds each way. I remember. I remember. I think the designer took a lot of movement for him, which completely negated his his issue. Actually, once you got the uh, the the dash was. Super useful for him. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so the builds are really cool. I think the enemies are all all the enemies in the deck are all unique, which is nice. Um, it adds a lot to the puzzle factor because now it's like there's only one spearman. You don't have to worry about two spearmen, but you have to you do have to know what they all do. It's not a huge deal. There tend to be a lot of enemies. The game can run a little long, um, for me, just a yeah. little bit. Just because you have a lot of, like, um, what does the guy do next, right? It's not hard to do. It runs pretty fast, but just a little long. You just contradicted yourself a little bit there. But no, well, I, I no, know what no. It runs... Just like, well, I think the big thing is for this one is the teach. Because we went the first round of this took a long time to get through. You're right. But then once you get it, because it's rather simple and, it, and I don't want to yes. say repetitive in a bad way. Right, right. But it's, you know, bad guys move. You attack, blah, blah, blah. Right. And it's a marching, like, it really does have that tower defense, like, just continuous marching feel to it to me. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so there's uh, new classes. Oh, the other thing I'll mention, too, is on these character boards, what you saw was the basic side. There is an advanced side as well. Oh. So they have something else. So this one has um, essence, essences you have to manage. So these will power up your other abilities and you can build up this. It's like building power over time for yours is interesting. I don't know. I think yours, yours just gets more sh harder to use. Like it, it gets more powerful, but there's a lot more things to worry about. Yeah. There's a couple of like, <clears throat> yeah. Well, like the, there's one that's a, a, a assassin a rogue, and they have a hidden ability so they can actually hide on the board. The enemies can see them. It's very, very cool. So, but yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. Um, it's very easy to play. A lot of deterministic combat works really well. Um, you saw the events on there. You saw the storybook exploration. I played this one multiple times. I feel like the replayability is good, so I don't really have any issues there. My only, my only personal um, want is one-off scenarios. Because um, I know for us at least. It's hard to get campaigns going for a long period of time because we have so many other campaign games and we're doing stuff for the channel. Uh, for most people, that's not a problem. Just for me, like having a one-off would be nice. Um, so this or... is strictly like a whole campaign yeah. playthrough? Oh, yeah. okay. The nice thing is people can jump in any time because there's no persistence in the character themselves. You can sw I can switch to your character, you can switch to mine, or any character between them. As long as you have them unlocked in the campaign, it doesn't matter. But it's just like... Story familiarity, or yeah, you don't have you don't have the story familiarity, right? But you can still play the game without knowing the story. So kind of could be a one off. 
It could, yeah, in a sense. Okay. You just have to know what is available to you at that point. Oh, because you have to record it on the sheet and everything. That's right. Okay. That's right. So there's some persistent items for sure. So anyway, there's a lot going on in this game. Hopefully it all made sense. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, we can reach us at our Discord, of course. If you have questions on the game, we do have a a channel, a forum for this uh, this game specifically, if you have questions about it. I know the designer has a server specifically for this game as well, so you can check out there. Uh, but yeah, let us know on Kickstarter. Or, sorry, take a look at Kickstarter if you're interested in this one. And um, if, it, like I said, any questions, drop them in the YouTube comments below. Cool. So you like this one? It was fun. Would I ever, Good. would I be like, hey, let's let's go through this whole campaign? I don't know, kind of like, because what you said, it was, we have so many things to I do. I know, I know. You like the one-ups too. That's yeah, fine. That's yeah. fine. So. Yep. Cool. Okay. So just real quick, next thing on the channel will be Spider-Geddon. We're going to be playing against uh, Superior Spider-Man. That's going to be Wednesday night. And then Thursday is going to be a recording of my computer on Gen Con. And Friday's going to be Marvel Champions and no co-op chat this week. So that's the end of the content for this week. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Bye-bye.